Hello everyone, I'm Daniel. I'm Eris. And we're here today planting water chestnuts. We've got this beautiful bathtub. We've just been waiting to put something in here. Water we chestnuts. Water chestnuts have arrived and it is time to plant. Indeed. So, what have we done here, Daniel? We've made a brew, made a mix. It's about 50% aged cow poo with 50% old potting mix with no fertilizer. Okay, and if you were at home, you could just use a, a mix of compost, basically. You could use bottom. compost, yeah. yeah. You can add a little bit of sand to make it a little bit more free draining. Um, it's about 20 centimeters worth in this old bathtub. Yep, so you don't need to fill it up with mix. No. You just need a layer in the bottom, a good solid layer in the bottom. Yeah, you need enough for them to grow roots, to spread their roots and to grow their corms. Okay, and how are we keeping the water clean? Initially, we're putting newspaper. There's a few few layers of newspaper on here, and so that'll initially stop the mixing of the water column with the, the mix we've made. Mm, the newspaper will eventually break down it over will. time. It will. Do you think you could use something like shade cloth as well, or is that too restrictive on the plant? It's too restrictive, and I think the roots will grow too much into it. Uh, you want something that okay. will break down. Yep. You could use some cardboard if you have cardboard. Mm -hmm. Last but, a bit longer. Yeah, newspaper is the way I've always done it. Okay, so we've got the mix in, we've got a layer of newspaper on top. We have moisture, you have filled this up with water and it's yeah. soaking. So why does it need to be a wet environment for water chestnuts? So water chestnuts initially grow in a wet area on the edge of a, a dam and edge of a water body. They're not a deep water plant. So initially we want to mimic that. Great, and could you take this beautiful bathtub situation and replicate that in a pot, in a smaller vessel. Definitely you could. Okay. You definitely can. You don't have to have a water body this big. You can grow it in a smaller pot or you can scale it up. Yes. And How big it... could you go? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're getting a dam built, you can get a shelf made in your I dam. I want a purpose built dam for water chestnut growing. You can do that. There's many, <laughs> many uh, edible water plants. Fantastic. Okay. So what we're going to do is get going on planting the water chestnuts. So let's go Daniel. Let's for, do it. for a bathtub this size, how many do we need? Maximum four. Okay. That is enough. <laughs> Don't okay. plant any more. Mm. If you plant too many, you will risk having very small water chestnuts at the end because of the competition. Four plants will fill this bathtub up really well. With big size water chestnuts. Yeah. I mean, when you want to eat a water chestnut, you want a big fat one. You don't want a, a don't really want small one. don't want the little one. ones. No. I did that the first year and I learned from okay. my mistake. Okay, <laughs> so you, you have done this method before. It works. Yeah, yeah yep. definitely. Many Excellent. times. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead, plant these now. And in about how many months are we going to expect to harvest these? We're going to wait five months where five. we are. It's yep. about five months. Mm. Um, so you want to plant either mid-spring, coming into late spring, um, and we're, we'll be harvesting in autumn. Great, and frost-free with the water chestnuts. Definitely. They do not like the frost. Yes, if you are in a frosty place, you could try growing it in a hothouse or a greenhouse. Mm, that sounds um, good. Keep a bit of extra warmth. You can have your bathtub in there. Yep. That's a trick you could do. And then when we are going to harvest, you're going to want to drain all the water out. Why? That will help sweeten up all the chestnuts Ooh. so in nature it comes a drier season towards then and it allows them to sweeten up great we want sweet water chestnuts yes <laughs> okay so let's plant daniel awesome let's go so we've made some holes into the newspaper we know where we're going to put these we've spaced them out nicely and now simple simple thing is we're just going to put them in Pretty much. When you receive your water chestnuts, we send them out in pots just like this. All you need to do is tip them upside down and they'll come out easily. Just Look like at that. that. Now, and when we're planting them, Daniel, should we be teasing the roots? Should we be breaking yeah. it up a little bit? I would make the hole first, get make your hole. hole ready. Yep. Oh, that feels mushy. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so um, quiet. Yeah, you can tease them up a little bit. These are pretty good. Mm. They're not too root bound. Yep. If they were quite root bound, you can tease them up a little bit um, by just breaking the sides. But these are pretty good. Wow, and just they slot right they in. Slot right in. Look at that, they easy. Do. It's just one of the easiest plants you could possibly plant. Look at that. You do. You do want to make sure though that there is contact with the the potty mix that you've got or the media you've got with the root ball. We're nearly done. This is a quick one. Yeah, so that one's a little bit more root bound. 
yeah. you can break it up a little bit and it's good. fine. Looks good. Mm, yummy cow food. It's like an instant garden here. Oh. Yummy, yes, those plants are saying yummy. Yeah. Okay, this is our water chestnuts. We've got them planted. What's next, Daniel? Might put a little bit more water in there, just a little bit to fill it up. Mm. Um, and then we wait. We wait. See you in five months. <laughs> Enjoy. See ya.